I think you know it'll it'll be anybody's guess that uh, with the COVID situation, uh, you would definitely want to improve improve your digital outreach, right? I mean, because people people are uh, not able to meet, so you will be uh, you'll be finding different ways to reach them. So when we talk about uh, digital, it's not that mobile or online or uh, you know uh, maybe a contact center. They are uh, they are new, right? I mean, they were there. But the things that are going to make difference is uh, things that were considered, you know, niche. For example, remote banking. For example, co-browsing of the applications, right? E-signature uh, for most of your functions, uh, and 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 video banking, especially for the you know high-value customers like mortgage or wealth customers, and in some cases even the retail customers, right? Uh, it's very expensive to do it for the retail customers, but you know you can you can especially the commercial customers, right? So I I, I definitely see uh, different dimensions getting added added into the digital outreach, a signature, co-browsing, you know, um, uh, uh, co-browsing, and then uh, video banking. Uh, now, as we enter into that realm, you would actually also see mobile uh, uh, having more and more features. And I'm not talking about online. Online is a beast in itself, right? But mobile power in your hand is you are going to see much more and more features on on, on mobile. One of the biggest challenge, and I think uh, um, Randy kind of touched on that, which is going to be um, which is going to be fraudsters are going to become bolder and bolder. As I can't see you, I can't verify you. Your identity verification, your device identification, your voice authentication. Those are the kind of things that are going to actually start creating issues for the banks. It, it will it will become exponentially high because uh, you know you will see a financial hardships for the for the people. Uh, uh, you know, at, at, in the in the in the uh, for the for the people, it will compel more people to become fraudsters. They will target more of these financial institutions where they can get the money, and they will target exactly the the ambition of these companies to go digital. Okay, so you see a lot of investment going into fraud, authentication, mm-hmm. uh, and omni-channel as we were talking about. But none of these things are easy. You cannot get that. In a in a year or two. So what you would actually see is kind of a transitionary situation in the next twelve months, in which you will see uh, you will you will see a, 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 a kind of a balance between digital and better authentication and fraud. So your experience might actually become a little bit patchier in the short term, but then before it, after that, you know, it's it's going to get better. This is one of my uh, prediction uh, that I see.